<laughs> Look at him. What do you think, Bubba? Check out how pretty that one is. What is that? Yeah, there's more in there. You want to grab them? Mm -hmm. There's some pretty good looking pigeons in there, Bubba. Yo, what up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Last video, we went and caught all of the new pigeons for the loft. We traded in our feral pigeons that I've been trapping and catching at the truck stop, y'all. And we traded them for buttes, absolute buttes. You gonna take them to the loft? You gonna set them free in their new loft? Yeah. Oh, really? Bubba, you see them pretty birds in there? Are they pretty? Ooh, Bubba's interested. Hold them. <laughs> you want to hold them? Yeah. Yeah. We could have picked a lighter uh, transportation device. <laughs> or a smaller one. Fred's kennel. <laughs> ah! Oh my goodness. <laughs> she knew we were filming, obviously. <laughs> you are filming? You are, yeah, we're filming. We're going to be on YouTube. Hello? What's your dumping? All right. Here we go. You want to get them pigeons, Bubba? Yeah. All right, we're going to set them up here. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to ban these bad boys. That's what today's video is. You Are they pretty, Bubba? Hold on. So what we're going to do is we're going to ban these bad boys, and uh, we're going to throw them in the loft. So uh, what was it, like three of them probably are banded already? Something like that. There's one of them that's double banded already. So I got some bands here furnished by our buddy Dustin. Thank you, Dustin. Thank you so much. He gave them to us. He said, there's some spares. I'm not going to use them. You can have them. So what we're going to do is we have two reds, we have two whites, and then we have two black and whites. We have three black and whites, one that's really white. Uh, so on the double red and the double whites, we're going to band them differently. So there's going to be a, a white bird with a black band. There's going to be a white bird with a red band. And the reason why I want to do it is I want to keep them separate. So we, as meaning you guys, we can name them. We can't name them all in one video, but what we can do on other videos, like today, we can name the white ones, and later on, we can name the red ones, and then we can name the, the pepper ones. Get what I'm saying? So today, we're gonna ban them all, but then we're gonna name the white ones. All right, so what we're gonna start off with is before we get banning the new birds, we're gonna catch Clark, because we left Clark in here. Clark is the only feral pigeon that is gonna remain in the loft because he's the OG of the house, man. Hopefully you won't be too hard. Ah! Good Lord, I knew he was gonna be stubborn. Ah! Telling you, these feral birds compared to where we were, see, they're crazy, I'm telling you what. Feral birds are no joke. Beat me in the head, dude. Listen, he's mad, dude. He's always mad. No, you gotta say it like Steve Irwin. He's angry! He's angry! <laughs> so what we're gonna do is ban Clark with a bright orange band first. That's what we're gonna get done here. He's wild. Uh, babe, grab his foot and pull it out. Wait, is this like Clark Griswold? That's Clark. Yeah, that's Clark Griswold. Hold his foot out. snapped on so now so now we're gonna we're obviously gonna catch more feral birds at the truck stop so but now we will know which one well Carl is Clark so we're gonna end up catching a lot more feral birds at the truck stop a ton more but we wanted to ban Clark so we know which one he is in there because the pretty birds are gonna be in there but then some feral birds are gonna be in there as well so I want to be able to justify which one is old Clark so we don't get rid of them. Because we're gonna keep giving old Dustin some birds. All right, well, here's the next bird. He already has a uh, he already has a baby blue band. Should we double band him or should we just leave him? I think one's good. Yeah, we better save the other bands for some other birds. But this is a very beautiful bird. Check him out. He's got a, some brown, black, and a bunch of white. He even has the pearl on his neck. Just a beaut. That's definitely a male, I can tell. So we're gonna put him in. Meet your buddy, old Clark. Oh, Clark don't like him already. They <laughs> might wrestle. <laughs> Got it. All right, so next up is uh, this guy here. Isn't he pretty, Bubba? Check Can him I out. pet him? Yeah, pet him. These are pretty birds. These are the ones we're gonna keep, sis. Aren't they pretty? Yeah. So, oh, oh man, they're strong. 
So this is the next guy. He's already got a green band on him. What was the last one? What color was that? That was a blue, blue one. Yeah. Baby blue. So we got a baby blue pepper in there, and we're going to have a lime green pepper. <laughs> so in later videos, we're going to end up naming these guys. Uh, but today, we're just going to name the double white ones. There he is. Good to go. Baby, don't open it. All right. This is our... Oh, good. Wow. Okay, so first off, I'm not the best pigeon wrangler west of the Mississippi. Look at this guy, though. This is one I really want to check him out. He's all white with just some black markings. Crazy. Awesome. Good looking bird. Want to pet him, guys? Oh my. <laughs> the kids love the pigeons. Hi, pig no, 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 don't grab his head. Be nice. Aww. Be nice. Oh, isn't that a pretty pigeon? Cute. He's so cute, sis. So sweet. Well, I got feathers all over me. But there he is. That's, I don't think he's banded. Yeah, he is. So this pepper has a white band. No need to band him. Let's make sure. Okay, he's not double banded. So this uh, double white. <laughs> so this one here. We will name at a, at a later date. You guys got to stay tuned for the, uh, the rest of the pigeon videos to come because we're going to end up naming all of our new loft birds. Oh, here we go. Let's put him in there. Welcome home, buddy. All right, so next up is going to be our reds. So next up, like I said, reds. Want to pet him too? Give him a good petting. Oh, aren't they pretty? Look at him, sis. Isn't he pretty? These are reds. So this here, we got us a, or one of our reds. We got two reds. And uh, this guy here, is he banded? Are you banded, buddy? Not banded. We got to put a band on him. So first red is going to get a yellow band. Red, yellow band. Welcome home, buddy. So next up is the uh, second red bird. Looks like he's already banded. Ooh, he's really calm. He's domesticated. He didn't even mind if I grabbed him. He's a much calmer bird. Maybe. But he is double banded. Check it out. White and a white. Double banded white. We're going to know who you are every single time. So double banded. Double banded white. Red. He's got some awesome pearl colors on his neck. Just a beaut. Want to pet him, sis? Isn't he pretty? Look how pretty he is. Ah. Did he get you? They're nice birds. Frederick, you can't have no more pigeons today. All right, so next up, we got the two purebred whites. These are beauties, absolute beauties. Well, that one's definitely a male, isn't it? You hear him? They both make that, uh, both sexes oh, they make both that sound. Like that. It's the, that's gotcha. the male. Gotcha. Check out this guy here. This is one of our purebred males. He is not banded, so we're going to have to throw something on him. Uh, we'll throw a red on him. Throw a red band on, on old, uh, old purebred Whitey here. That's our first purebred with a red band. Can I? Can I pet him? Oh, you want to pet that one? I'm sorry, sis. <laughs> She's been waiting so patiently, like, Daddy, can I pet him? All right, before we move on to our last and final white purebred pigeon here, we got to name old red leg back there, old white purebred with the red leg band. Uh, drop a comment down below. Give me a name. He's, all, he's purebred white, red leg band. Name him now. Please. Please. But last and final one, I don't think he's banded either. Well, he's real calm. He was like, I don't have any buddies here to chirp with. You're all mine. Look how pretty he is. Just fully, fully white bird. Look at that. Beauty. Absolute beauty. We're going to throw... I want to throw... What color you want to throw on him, baby? No, we can't do red. That's the one we already did. Want to do yellow? We'll do yellow on him. Put a yellow band on this one. So we got a red that you guys need to drop a comment down below and name. Now we got this guy. 
who has a yellow leg band. So we need to name him as well. This is our white purebred with a yellow leg band. Let's name him as well. I appreciate you too. Thank you for always dropping your positive comments down there. You know, you guys know that I try responding to every single comment that you guys put down there. So I appreciate it. And I do want to say that this loft wouldn't exist if it wasn't for you guys. You guys wanted to see these videos. You guys wanted me to make a pigeon loft. I always wanted to, but you guys were interested in it too, and I thank you. But most of all, Jordan, who's running the camera, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this loft. We wouldn't be able to trade out pigeons. So if you guys enjoy Jordan on all these you know, pigeon hunts, pigeon trapping, pigeon everything, you got to go subscribe to his YouTube channel. I will drop it down at the top of the description down there. Go down there. Go to his channel. Check him out. He's doing a lot of processing, like goose processing, how to make deer jerky, a bunch of stuff. Go check him out. Well, 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 as you can tell, it is the next day. And darn it, something bad happened with the old loft already this morning. So they're chilling in here, as you can tell. They're all chilling. Not doing too bad. Check it out, they're all just chilling in there. Not doing too bad. But as you notice, we're one short. Okay, so first of all, I made a major mistake this morning. I came out here and I opened the door like usual. I usually block it with my body, you know, so they can't get out. The feral birds, they were always pretty scared of me. Uh, so they just kind of went to the corner and they didn't want to rush me. These birds, for one, are used to humans, and for two, they're extremely used to a bigger, bigger loft. We're gonna have to, we're definitely gonna build onto this loft. We're gonna make it way bigger, probably triple the size at minimum. Uh, so long story short, these, these birds are used to being around humans. Flew right at me. Uh, one of the pure white ones ended up on the ground here. As you can see, a lot of feathers, yeah. We wrestled. He ended up on the ground. I got him, pinned him, threw him back in there. And right when I threw him back in there, one came right over my head. And it was one of the black and white pied birds. One of the really pretty ones. <sighs> yeah, that's the way it goes. He went up in this tree. He sat up on that branch and he went to a higher one. I chucked a rock at him to try to knock him out. <laughs> and so that was my only option at that point. And he flew off that way. He gone. So... Yeah, it's like, it's not like it's a big deal where it's like a $100 bird or a $50 bird or, or something like that. It's a, but it is a big deal because I traded my hard-earned feral pigeons for them, but it's honestly only like a 4 or $5 bird. So, if we want more, we can go back to Dustin's place at any time. We can get more pigeons, we can get fancier pigeons, we can get more white ones. It's always available, so I'm not that bothered about it but it does bother me a little bit to be honest if you guys can can understand where i'm coming from oh my goodness these birds i'm on being completely honest these birds they're used to being in lofts and they're just way different they act way different they're used to humans uh they got trickery up their sleeve they know how to dodge you and go around you the feral ones they didn't they didn't know anything so bigger loft is soon very soon to come be expecting the uh the building of the bigger loft to be happening this week so stay tuned that video will be coming up i want to make the loft grand i want to make it bigger i want to make it easier to go in and out of because i want to be able to go in there i want to be able to walk in the door feed and water them without having to worry about them getting out on me like that because it almost happened with the feral birds like one other time but it was never like that that's the first time i've ever went in there like that with these new birds and about lost two in one go. They were so smart. They know how to dodge you. Oh, well, I figured I'd come out here to the truck stop real fast before we close today's video and check the traps and see if we had anything going on. Look what happened here. This bad boy got, uh, man, what happened? It got all me. Holy smokes. It's like someone messed with it or something. It was all turned. It's usually facing this way and it was all this way. Huh, that's odd. So I'll have to reset that. But we've got an issue out here, guys. I wanted to give you a little update. The, uh, the truck stop 
has uh, really, really wound down. There's not hardly any pigeons coming here. Haven't been coming here for the last three or four days. And the reason is, is that right there. That big pile of asphalt. There's been a crew in the parking lot using that and grinding it up and using it for road work. So there's just been foot traffic, people walking around, them like working right here where the traps are. And it's just kept the pigeons out of here. I mean, I've looked every day and there might be one or two, but that's it. It's a little sickening, I know. But once they get out of here and uh, they get done with the work that they're doing, I'm sure we give it a week and it'll start populating back up. Keeping my fingers crossed, I really hope, I really hope that uh, it isn't ruined for an extended amount of time. You know what I'm saying? But guys, I hope you guys are liking the videos. I can't believe I lost uh, one of my black and white pied birds, but we're gonna go back out to Dustin's and we'll just replace it because you guys absolutely loved that last barn loft video where we got the pretty birds. So be expecting an addition to the loft. That's coming because it has to happen. And then be expecting some more big barn loft videos with Dustin because it's epic out there. And I want some more pretty birds, especially when we build onto the loft. But thank you all for being here. Subscribe if you have it. If you have any ideas for videos that you guys want me to do, drop a comment down below and let your boy know. But until next time. <laughs>